Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share to you the updates or the news updates and the spreadsheet updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news Okay, so without further ado, let's begin So this is the newsletter So um, Here are the three articles, so I'm going to discuss each of them so the first one, let's go to the first one, so let's start. So Bitcoin Cash just split into two blockchains. Okay, so let's close this one first. And then let's start. So the code for Bitcoin Cash's hard fork has been activated. With neither side of the contentious debate leading up to the hard fork willing to come to a compromise. Two competing implementations of the protocol have now been activated, however, it's unclear at this juncture um, which of the two will become the dominant software of the BCH network, or if two distinct chains, chains will continue to coexist on, in the long term. The last common block among Bitcoin cash miners was 556766, mined by SV Pool as of press time. Bitcoin.com, which is supporting Bitcoin ABC, has mined a new block, signifying that the, new, that the two chains have divided into two, according to data from Coin.Dance. To recap, the implementation put out by leading Bitcoin Cash developer group Bitcoin ABC introduces a series of technical upgrades to the network, such as a re um, reordering of transactions to increase block capacity as well as additional code to support greater interoperability between cryptocurrencies. The other implementation dubbed Bitcoin's Satoshi's Vision or Bitcoin SV rejects these changes to instead restore retired code from the original Bitcoin protocol and increases the block size from 32 MB to 128 MB. In the lead up, uh, in the lead up to this event, Threats of chain sabotage by avid Bitcoin SV supporter Kane Wright suggested um, the potential use of hash power to mine both a Bitcoin SV chain and create empty blocks on an opposing Bitcoin ABC chain, which could fatally damage operations on the opposing network. Okay, so let's continue to read further. So, though refuted, by Bitcoin ABC supporters as unlikely, data three days prior to, to hard fork activation revealed that Bitcoin Cash mining pool support Bitcoin SV actually consolidated a majority of the network's total hash power, suggesting strong capability to follow through on the threat. These numbers as they relate to hash power are still highly subject to change. Indeed, there remains the possibility of mining support switching from one side to another, as well as additional resources being added to reinforce either chain. With several platforms closely tracking the outcome of events still to come, the future of the Bitcoin Cash community remains to be determined. So that is the first news update. So let's go to the second news update. Okay. So Microsoft releases cloud-based Azure Blockchain Development Kit. Uh, American Software Corporation Microsoft has released a serverless blockchain-powered Azure Development Kit, according to an announcement published November 15. The new product, dubbed the Azure Blockchain Development Kit, purportedly improves the capabilities of Microsoft's Azure Blockchain Workbench. Uh, sorry, it contains features like off-chain identity and data monitoring and messaging application programming interfaces or API in a format that can be used to develop blockchain-based apps. Per the blog post, the initial release will focus on three core objectives such as connecting interfaces, integrating data and systems, and deploying smart contracts and blockchain networks. 
The product will purportedly enable individuals, organizations, and devices to connect to a blockchain via user interfaces. Microsoft says that the development kit includes, an, includes SMS and voice interfaces, um, IoT or Internet of Things device integration, support for mobile clients, bots, virtual assistants, and other related solutions. In terms of smart contract interaction, Microsoft included workbench integration scenarios into the development kit in such areas as the legacy apps and protocols data, software as a service or SAAS, and registries that generate a custom registry and registry item smart contracts. Microsoft has also introduced a white paper dubbed DevOps for Blockchain Smart Contracts, explaining how to use the development kit for blockchain-based apps in certain business environments. Okay. In August, Azure introduced a proof of authority or POA algorithm in its Ethereum blockchain product. The purportedly allows a more efficient way of building decentralized applications or dApps for private or consortium networks, where all consensus participants are known and reputable. One example of Azure technology deployment in the commercial area is its integration into stock exchange. Nasdaq Inc.'s financial framework or NFF in late October. This will purportedly facilitate easier buyer and seller matching, management of delivery and payment, and settlement of transactions. So that is the second news headlines of the day. So the third one is this one. Malaysian Banking Group CIMB taps Ripple for blockchain remittances. So this is very good news for Ripple um, holders or Ripple traders. Malaysian banking group CIMB has joined Ripple's blockchain-based payments network RippleNet, seeking faster cross-border payments. A strategic partnership between the firms addresses the need for speedy and cost-efficient international payments across the ASEAN region, Ripple said Wednesday. Specifically, Ripple's blockchain-based solution has been deployed to expand CIMB's existing proprietary remittance system, SpeedSend. The RippleNet integration is already facilitating instant remittances through corridors such as to Australia, USA, UK, and Hong Kong, the bank stated. As part of the partnership, CIMB said it is planning to plan to extend the Ripple solution to other use cases across the group. SpeedSend currently serves individuals remitting to a number of predominantly Asian countries including the Philippines, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, and India, according to its website. So Ripple CEO Brad, Garling, Brad Garlinghouse said, We're seeing banks and financial institutions from across the globe our world lean into blockchain solutions because it enables a more transparent, quicker, and lower cost payments experience. While Ripple offers several payment solutions, one of which uses the XRP crypto token, the firms did not disclose which is being utilized by CIMB. According to World Bank projections, remittances to Southeast Asia, Asia will grow to $120 billion to the end of 2018, while global remittances are expected to grow at $642 billion. So those are the three news updates on the newsletter that was received today by the subscribers. Okay, so let's go down on the um, research list of Donald the Guru. So the top coins of today are Blockport, Dogecoin, Golem, Nules, Upfiring, Bitcoin, EOS, Stellar, Davcoin and BitBay. So you can also access the spreadsheet here. As seen here or as stated here, the blue ones are showing the best news. So the blue ones are the best ones that should be included in your portfolio or should be included in your research list. So as you can see, there's uh, on the right side, there you can see the technical analysis of the coins, each and every one of them. So if you have time, please visit preferredcurrency.news and check its YouTube channel to explore further or go to my YouTube channel and check all the um, other videos that's uh, 
discussing preferred currency dot news. But for now, um, check. Uh, it's better that you subscribe, rather, because I know this will help you in your daily cryptocurrency activities. Okay. So guys, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must uh, always do your own research before deciding for yourself, alright? So guys, this has been Vic and bringing you the latest, newest crypto news on the newsletter. Brought to you by PreferredCurrency.News. Signing off. Bye-bye.